Morning, welcome to Out and About with Rob. What I want to show you today, I've never actually got it out yet. It's a Miltech Recom one man tent. Very low profile, I've seen a lot of it on uh, YouTube, and that's what I wanted to get something that was quite low profile. I meant to do a bit of stealth camping at some point in the future when we're allowed to, of course. So, I've, I haven't even got this out. I've had, it, I've had it a couple of weeks and I've never even got it out. I just wanted to wait until I got somewhere like this so I can get it out and see its potential. So let's have a look. What made me pick this one because um, I'm a pretty big bloke. <laughs> I'm about six foot five, um, and according to all reports, there's seven foot of room in this, even though it's only a one man tent. So let's see if that's true. Can't wait to find out. Some instructions in there. I better read them first. Here we are. It's in uh, Flectarn, probably the best camo there is in the entire world. So let's see what we've got when we unravel it. Ah. Holes. So that's obviously the cover. The bit that goes on the top. And this must be the main thing. Looks, looks quite big, long lengthwise. So yeah, it's quite a windy day today, so I've got my foot on it to stop it blowing away for the time being. So let's get this thing set up. Pegs, although it says you don't really need pegs. It is freestanding, so that's, that's always good too. So you can always move it about. So that's the short one that goes over the middle. And these are the two long ones that go corner to corner. So let's give it a go. That's one side put in. We're getting there. And this is the one that goes across the middle, I guess. So you've got the two long ones and the two short ones. You have to be careful it doesn't blow away. Let's 
sick. Exactly. Got a load of leaves in there already. And that's the inside bit. I don't know if I'll be able to fit in it. I think that's sort of got it. Sort of. Let's have a look at it. So that comes back, that comes back. Of course we can roll it up. I'm not going to follow it at the moment. Yeah, the ground's not that level, obviously. Got the ventilation here. Got two, one this side, one that side. at the back there or the front or whatever you want to say is it stealthy Turn it let's do it up and go back in the distance see what it's like would it be good for stealth camping let's see Well, there it is there, it's quite low profile, doesn't stick out too much. I think it's pretty good actually, considering. It's only a one man tent after all. I do like the old, uh, Flectarm. Flectarm's a good, a good camo. Very good for German woodland. I don't think German woodland's much different to British woodland in the great scheme of things. But yeah, not too bad. I quite like it. Let's go and get inside it and see how much room a six foot five bloke has. In a Miltech long recom one man tent. Let's give it a go. Alright, so here I am. Obviously, there's not going to be any headroom. This is just the sort of tent you get in when you want to go to sleep. It's not the sort of tent you can really sit up in you've got a little uh, vestibule here put things in which will be handy seeing as there ain't no room inside but let's actually get in let's get in so here I am inside can I lay down let's try let's bring you in I've got to say, yeah, I could probably uh, sleep in here, I reckon, without, I mean, I sleep in a fetal, fetal position anyway, so, uh, and I wouldn't have my boots on either, would I? But, uh, yeah, I reckon I could do it. It's quite nice. Very relaxing. Let's see how far my feet are from the end. 
so this is my head and I have still got quite a few inches there so I could probably move up a little bit hang on a minute I'll, sw I'll swing you around so there's my feet down at the end and I've still got I'd say what, 10 inches actually quite a lot quite a lot of space more than I thought I'd have So, I think it's got potential for stealth camping. So that's what I want to do. I want to do a bit of stealth camping. That's my intention. And I wanted something, one man, but very low profile. It didn't stand out too much. And I could even bring a camo net to go over the top of it. I've got a nice camo net at home. So, yeah, I like it. Let's do up this. I need to do the door up first and I'll do the outer door. <coughs> Zip worked easy. still got a little bit of bedroom there but I will curl up into a ball anyway I always do when I have a kip so that's good it works for me like I say it's not the sort of tent you could just get in and chill out this is the sort of tent you set up and when you're ready to go to bed you get in it go to sleep. I'll tell you what I did forget to do. Hang on, come here. I forgot to connect that to the side of the pole. The clip. So there you go. That's better. Take a little bit of getting used to, but setting up wise, get quicker with it. But I like it, I like it a lot. That pulls that bit tighter as well, that's good. Ooh, I like it. Now, just got to try and get out. Well, the wind nearly took it, a bit gust of wind got in there, but you can uh, put guy lines on it, you can. Ten, uh, got 10 pegs you can peg it down so it's all good it's good I've got more room in there than I thought I would have let's do the door up get some photos Right, it's come over very gloomy and I think it's going to rain in a minute so I'm going to get this packed away and I'm going to be on my way. I just wanted to test this out. I like it. I like it a lot. I look forward to using that at some point when we're allowed to get out and about. When we're allowed to go a roving. It's going to be good. So, thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care. And I'll see you when we're out and about, wherever it may be. Take care. Bye. So it is all packed away. And, uh, you know, it's not the lightest of tents. I think it's probably about two kilos with everything. But, you know, for the stealthiness, two kilos isn't much, is it? So yeah, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye. I like it. Miltech Recon. It'll do me. Bye.